Hey everybody, this video is going to be all about nail cutting and hopefully by the end of it it will help you to have nail cutting for your dog a more pleasant experience. As you have probably already seen, some dogs can be a little jumpy about this and shook their legs like Clary does and she is much better than she once was because long ago when I would try to especially cut the nails on the front paws, she would just plant her nose right on uh, the foot I was trying to walk on and it completely blocked me from being able to see anything I was doing whatsoever. Now to get your dog comfortable having this done, I would recommend that when it's a puppy to start and do so consistently. Now if you're a puppy or even an adult dog, get to a point of being totally over it then you can just take a break after doing a few nails or if you can do several nails even better but even if it's just a few take a break to give it some relief and continue to try to cut more later because unlike us dogs are perfectly fine not having other nails done all at once having a pocket full of uh, treats, just strange treats or something larger broke up into many small pieces helps a lot but getting your dog accustomed to this as well as other things as you have successful nail cuts uh, treat your dog very heavily at first and taper off over time and some dogs can be extremely combative over nail trimming from the very beginning, especially if it's an adult dog that's not had its nails consistently uh, trimmed over its lifespan, so I would just go very, very slowly in a case like this and be persistent. Uh, probably more breaks might be required than what it would be if a dog's nails start being trimmed when it's just a very young puppy, but probably. Over time, you can do it. You could also get a licking mat to distract your dog because those can be a pretty wonderful at helping you get a work done that it generally doesn't really like. The next point I want to make is getting nail cutters for your dog. If you have a really young puppy, like Clary was and I brought her home, uh, you can probably but you use uh, normal human uh, fingernail clippers because of how very small you know, the, your dog's nails are going to be at such a young age but it won't be long until you want bigger cutters you can use scissor style cutters which is what I'm using in this video these are nothing special my certain pair at least I just picked them up at a local grocery store and they've worked great ever since. You can also use what I believe are called guillotine style nail cutters which simply have the, a blade that simply moves up to cut your dog's nail rather than functioning like a pair of scissors but either will work fine. What I do recommend doing is avoiding any gimmicks like one pair of nail cutters I saw uh, that are supposed to let you know through lights when you've reached your dog's quick and when it's safe to cut because that's totally unnecessary. Also, if you can get a pair that does not have a nail guard, this pair I'm using does have a nail guard but I don't pay any attention to it whatsoever. The stated purpose of them is to help you not to cut your dog's quick. However, it is again totally unnecessary is I will be explaining a few uh, soon in this video. So my personal recommendation would just be to buy a scissor style pair of nail cutters like I'm using. So now it's time to get into cutting the nails themselves. If your dog has clear nails, uh, then that's very easy because you can see the quick. It is the uh, pink inside the nail near its foot. So any of the nail that is not pink, you can uh, cut that off all the way down to the pink, but to be careful not to cut into the pink since that will quick it and cause your dog some pain and bleeding. If you should accidentally cut a quick, have some steptic powder or 
I believe cornstarch will also work to help stop the bleeding quickly. I also advise when cutting uh, any nail whatsoever to cut off small amounts at a time. I just try to do the absolute smallest amount my nail cutters will catch on to for per every cut. However, if a dog's nails have not been cut in a long time and the nails are extremely long, then you probably can take off at least a great big piece at the start and then finish off by cutting off small amounts. Your dog might also have black nails. Clary has several and one of her front feet is entirely black nail which makes cutting a bit more uh, tricky. I was uncomfortable with it uh, for the most part until recently even though I did do my best because around a month ago I learned that when you are cutting a black nail on your dog you will see a wacky white chalky center uh, and as so long as you're seeing that, you're not at the quick yet, so you can continue cutting, but do cut, as I said before, even with clear nails, very small amounts off at a time, so you don't hit your dogs quick. And when you get to a grayish dot on the black nail, which is past the white chalky color, that'll all be gone by the time you reach that, then that means you need to stop right then or you likely will quick your dog's nail. And, and after I learned that, then it became much more comfortable for me to cut her black nails, because until then I would just only take pretty much the absolute tips off to make absolutely for certain I wasn't uh, quicking them, but now I can get them much shorter. If you don't trim your dog's nails or have a veterinarian or groomer do it, or somebody that you know who can do it, then your dog's nails eventually will get too long, which will cause discomfort for your dog's feet. And I do hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope it helps you. And thank you so much for watching, and I will leave you to watch the remainder of this nail trim for Clary. If we you can maintain a thousand or more subscribers, and then for next week, I will do a thousand subscriber special, which will be pizza for dogs. Have a good day, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.